Hi, it's Dwyer. It is Wednesday, January 27th, 2021. Wealthspinning.blogspot.com, a free site. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Let's talk about GameStop. <clears throat> Some of you have asked. Let me give a quick response here. But remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me say um, I'm not a buyer or seller of GameStop. Um, I don't recommend either course. I'm a non-participant. Uh, you should know that Michael Burry, uh, the person who several months ago said that GameStop is not as bad as the uh, stock price looks. Uh, he gave an interview recently to Bloomberg where he called the price action unnatural. He has greatly reduced, if not completely eliminated, his position. Now, let me say, I'm a big fan, big fan <clears throat> of Robin Hood, of online trading, of the ability to buy fractional shares, and at times, I'll speculate on a stock based on market size, uh, support from the government, things like that. But what I want to say to investors thinking about a stock like GameStop is you have to have a way to review the accounting, right? You just have to. And by that, I mean you need to be able to figure out, have a method to figure out the earning power of the stock, the earning trends, the P-E ratio, the earning expectations. Now, the service I use, and I'm not paid for this, I'm just a consumer. I own no stock in the company whatsoever. But the service I use, and it is a little bit expensive, it costs about $100 a month. Uh, today, I got in on a deal when the business first started. The service I use, altimetry.com's Altimeter, and I'll leave the link in the comment section to this video. It's run by Joe Littman, who is remarkable. Great CPA who is used by a lot of investors. Right, the service I use enables you to punch in companies like GameStop and to find out how its books look, right? Its earning power, its earning trends, its P.E. ratio, its earnings expectations. Let me also say, too, that you want to get beyond generally accepted accounting principles, right? Because there, they'll write down things as expenses that are actually assets, Right? like a lot of research and development that gives a company a proprietary edge. And of course, generally accepted accounting principles include very subjective items like goodwill and what have you. Right, So of course, on altimetry.com site, and uh, the portion of the site that fascinates me is the altimeter although the newsletters are excellent too, right? They'll actually break down and give you what they call uniform accounting numbers that are separate and distinct from the gap numbers referenced on the company's filings, right? So what I want to encourage people to do is to look up GameStop right, on altimetry.com. You're going to be astonished. The numbers are terrible, right? They are terrible. Understand, too, GameStop has been around for a while. It's not like this is some new company that's just starting out with terrible numbers that are going to flip once the public becomes aware of the product, right? No, this company's been around. They have terrible numbers. That's why you had a lot of people on Wall Street shorting the stock. That's why 
the shorts are still out on the stock, right? Even as investors are pushing up the price, the shorts, some of whom have liquidated, but others have not, still don't believe in the stock's precarious situation, right? As we also know, too, from Hertz most recently, right? Sometimes investors get the story wrong. Sometimes crowds are wrong. There's a feeding frenzy, right? As it is, the stock market is hopelessly overpriced right now if you go by the Buffett indicator, right? Just Google those terms. So when I see a feeding frenzy like this stock, GameStop, right? No, it's not for me. I'm not involved. I don't care what profits people are getting in the market at this moment, right? When you buy a stock, you're hoping for a future dividend stream, right? If you're a trader, you're hoping for at least some huge capital gains down the road that are justified by the earnings in the stock. Here, this one's just not for me. That's how I see it. I'm sitting this one out. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I know there's some of you out there who believe in GameStop right here. I know there's some of you out there who believe it's a $10 billion stock. Tell us about it in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.